Hello guys, this is Warrior here, and we are back with another Total War Rome Remastered episode. So, in the last one, we had a sally out to Camp Giddis, up here at Gidat. Here, we push through to Taurus, we also seize Sinopal. We are going to fight this battle to smash on through and hopefully seize Antioch. Seizing Antioch would probably, and then I think Pontus has one, two more cities, one here and here. Seizing those would essentially end them as a fighting force. I think seizing Antioch will end them as a fighting force, at least as a significant one. The Greek city-states have declared war on us. We smashed their army, but lost, took considerable losses. We should be able to seize this town, though, and then might be able to seize Rhodes later on. Their navy is going to be a problem, but Ready to we should be able to wrangle it in. It'll just take a little while. Ramming Go here. Speed. Oh. Yep, this that's engage. unfortunate. All right, um, we need ships. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. What can I get here? Can I get my better ships? No, I cannot. Well, that's gonna be the change, isn't it? All right, um, get that in. Get that in. Here. Get ships. All the ships. I want you just to build ships. Constantly building ships. That's your job. Just build, 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 build ships. Oh, here. Arenum. What can you give me? Ships. Pavantium. Ships. We'll just have a huge ship recruiting party, and then we'll come out, storm out, and try and dislodge some of these uh, blockades of certain ports. Here, you can give me ships, but you need troops is what you need. All right, so... We also have this problem to deal with, so we need to rally yes, a force from Italy, Sir. Oh, not Italy, Sir. Greece, Forward. to that's some Greek out. people Forward. cringing right now. Uh, sorry, misspoke. Yeah. My lord, oh, that actually made you happy. My lord, that's interesting. Yes, right. Marts. We have a at least a force that we can move up. We'll send you instead of sending you to Tillis. You're gonna move over. Here we'll gather troops from the capital and we'll move on. Yep, we're getting our troops in. Here we have these troops. You move north. Go there. Here we need to repair walls. Put that in. Uh, oh wait a minute. Can you get? You can get good ships. So get good ships give us good ships that we can then foster over here they only have one more port everything else is landlocked so we'll soon be negating that however My Lord. gonna get ooh it's actually quite a lot of troops that I can get right here in this new territory right here have I oh yeah that's where you can just get the pirates that's right all right let's see if we can end us some uh, Pontic problems. They have almost no infantry. All their power is in these chariots. I do have an onager. So let's see if we can kill us some chariots this day. Have some nice crispy horses. This should open the way to Antioch. And then I <clears throat> need to gather up a force to move into Central Asia. I was hoping that was going to be the force that just attached itself to Greece, but the army from Sinopal is probably going to have to push south and seize that central, that last central, uh, Anatolial, um, or Anatol, Atolia? Yeah, Atolia, uh, province. Turkey, modern day Turkey, basically. Once it is seized, it should be a war with Armenia, which will be nothing. A war with what's ever left of the Seleucids, which they have not been defeated. The Seleucids have not been defeated. That makes that makes me believe that they're probably just in Mesopotamia. There's a few settlements along the basically Baghdad and that region. Before night comes. And that's probably where they're at. So, alright. Alright. You. Thracia. Actually, you, you don't do that. Well, you actually might actually be useful just to absorb, kind of absorb the chariots. 
that light lancer unit, Greek cavalry unit will kind of be as well. You're gonna stay back. You're gonna go up. Fire at. Units, targets of opportunity, and these are my two Pell tests. I'll keep you together and I'll move you where I need you. Alright, so that's not unsurprising. Start firing. Alright, you wide formation. You like so. You pull back. You like so. Yeah. Honor, just stay back. There. There's chariot archers. Go after them. You do like so. Fire at them. And fire at those chariot archers. If we can. Gotta lure them into attacking us. Ooh, well that's working. I just lost a few. We probably need to take the summit. That onager will eventually force them in. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit right there. Royal Pikeman. Run! Yeah, I don't want to hide it there. I want to go there. Also, I cannot wait for my Total War uh, Warhammer series that I'm going to be uh, starting soon. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, really am um, kind of excited uh, it's been a while since I've been excited uh, the Western Roman Empire I thought that this series was gonna bring a lot of excitement and it really truthfully has not and if I wasn't playing this on YouTube I probably would not have continued it <laughs> just being honest it's just uh, this is something about it. Alright, so they're running. You start firing at them. Those are more chariots. Fire at those. Slowly move up the spears. And you do to guard the flank. I'll just slowly advance. You move up here. Slowly advance with my archers. Pikes in front. Try and force them into fighting me on terms that are favorable to me and not to them. You there. You there. We'll just keep corralling these guys in. We'll suffer some losses, but it'll be alright. It'll be okay. Go here. Take over this mound. Archers will force them back. Alright, so all of y'all are in range. Fire at them. We are winning. That's good. We're winning these exchanges. Oh yeah, we're winning them. Pretty good bout. Right. Just keep sequestering them into a location. See if we can keep kind of ushering them into a location that's better for us. Not so good for them. Move here. Move here. Move here. On a jump. Move up. Move up. Where's the red line? Lens all the way over here. If we can get them to this point, to this area, we can s just completely negate their mobility. This is how you do not use chariots. You would want to like attack my flanks, use your mobility to hit and run, and not allow my static defenses to overwhelm you. Basically, what's happening. They're realizing what is happening. Go to those chariot archers. Oh, hello. Why would you... Why would a spearman... Why would you charge... 
Grayson mercenaries, which are obviously better than you. Like, way better. And will crush you. Like, easily crush you. Not even, like, have hardly. Hello, chariot archers. I don't think that went exactly the way you wanted it to. Firing there. I do have a gap here. I need to fix that. Quickly. Are they realizing? Are they running? They are running. Move against them. Cappadocian cavalry. Keep firing. You go after those Cappadocians. They've broken. Capture them if you can. What is that? Is that a chariot? What is that? Oh, that's a phalanxman. Um, put them out of your misery. See if we can c catch those heavy Cappadocians. Okay, no, no, no. Right, I Come back. Go after them. We'll crush these guys. I will say I'm impressed by one thing. They will withdraw if they know they're going to lose the battle. And can withdraw. They will withdraw. So that is one good thing. And one good thing I like about the AI in this is that way they will withdraw. Um, haven't really seen that in other Total Wars too much. So they did fix, at least fix that. What's going on over here? Oh, they're just chasing them off the battlefield. How many did we lose over here? Eh, a little bit. This is Not a too victory. Bad. We still inflicted two to one casualties on them. Over half of their force is dead. So, well, the plan is is that the Total War Warhammer 2 series will take the place of this series, and it will be probably the Lizardman or the Dwarf. The free LC dwarf. Something Ironbrow Thoric Ironbrow, I do believe. It's gonna be him. So I know everyone's doing the Beastman and it's popular right now because the Beastman rework, but I mean Why would I do whatever what what everyone else is doing? I like doing stuff a little bit differently. Hmm. And so that's one of the things. I plan on doing. Also, if you haven't checked out my other series, I do have a Total War Western Roman Empire series that's up right now. It's uh, pretty action-packed, uh, probably more action-packed than this series. I also have a a uh, RR9 Let's Play in DAC, Divide and Conquer, that's going on right now. Uh, it's on episode 11. It is probably more slow paced than this, even though I do believe it's going to intensify a lot whenever I eventually go to war with Dol Amroth. Um, it's going to quickly ramp up, especially when I get closer to Gondor and the settlements get closer and closer together. It's just hard when the settlements are so strung out in the southern regions where I'm at, where it's like takes four movement turns just to get to another four turns just to get to another settlement it takes a while to conquer that um, unless you have big armies and you can just move 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 and you have an army that just goes in leaves a few units and then moves on to the next location which I don't so ah right, so they've been crushed March. All we have is Antioch, so we'll go for Antioch. Here. My lord. March. You need to get Order. on the move. My, yes, yes, my lord. My, my, sir, 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 my lord. As much lord. as possible. Yes, yes, Stratigos. Uh, we'll gather and one of us. My lord. March. Yes, Stratigos. He probably don't like that. That's okay. More pikes. My lord, march! Recruit. 
Yes, sir. You go back. Yes, there we are. Uh, we'll take the Arabian Cav and you two can actually move on Arak. So I'll keep you from producing any thing. You'll uh, aid and then we'll push south, hopefully. Or push this way, depending. Pontix has a navy here. We can also get a navy out somewhat. There we are. We actually need some spies. Is there where I can get some spies? I have to augment my troops a lot with, uh, yeah, get, no, get spies out, and then we'll, about anything else, maybe a diplomat or two. I might be able to tie this down, because I need to look at the victory conditions to see if it's own 50 regions or own it through military allies. I, I don't know for certain. Okay, Sir. so you're stuck there. You're stuck in a siege. My lord. You're there. Sir. I'm gathering troops, but I'm one turn away from that. Sir. These troops need to go somewhere. Um, problem is... Ready. Capia, you're fine. You'll eventually be fine. I'm just mad. Yeah, I can send... Sir. There we go. We're no longer going to riot. Alright, you... Orders. You disband. Hello, Gull. You're just causing problems, as usual. You just have two Gullish generals just hanging out, all creep-like. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Alright, how are we doing? We are... Once that is done, there's really nothing we can do for me. Alright. My lord! This force. You need to go somewhere. Alright, you're going to the east. March. When those ships are built. You're going to go on a ship. You're going to go all the way over here, hopefully. Across. Ready. You, Set done. Sail. You're going to run over here. We have naval Ships superiority ready. in yes, this sir. Ready to sail. We're at war with them. Yes, Captain. We're at war ready. with this guy. Ready. Attack. Ship's we are victorious. Ah, the ship's finally Set sunk. Ready to sail. These ships, I want you back into here. Smash through that little blockade they got going. We're gonna need you to, and we need more troops. That's what we need. Lots and lots of troops. From these regions, here you can offer me no troops. At least that's some comforting. Alright, um, now we're gonna have to wait a few turns to get these. Merge you up. You're gonna be a little bit before I can get like, decent troops. Have I scavenged all the mercenaries I can get? I have. Drat. Okay. Could take what troops I can. Move across here. Wait one turn. I'll probably just wait one turn. Do that. Right. Here. Get to crush that. So that's been crushed. Problem is, is that if Scipio gets uppity, they could land troops. Hello. Yes, I know. Causing me all kinds attack. of problems. Yes. Hello, small Pontic force. Victory. Victory. Go away, Gaul. You're just being annoying. Yes, Greek city-states. I'm about to have overwhelming force against you and crush you. Okay. Ah, this. The militia spam. Alright, well, we're gonna fight this. Probably gonna lose. Just gonna throw that out there. Definitely gonna lose. But, it's okay. It's okay in one aspect. I have a false gathering to retake it, so. We'll lose it, but then you won't get any further. I don't think. I hope not. That'd be really bad if you did. Like, really bad, because that means my capital would be threatened, and then if I lose my capital, then, uh, oh, oh, bit major headache. Should be okay, though. I should have left stouter defenses on my northern borders. I could always pull that other army back. I'll probably pull him from his Camp Giddis, push him over, and seize that, ca seize their actual capital, and 
and that should send a message to Thrace to bugger off, hopefully. It would to me, but... Okay, alright. <laughs> you win. You could have that territory. Peace. Yeah, don't worry about that. There's not as many factions in Rome Total War as there is in Rome Total War 2. That's the one advantage of Rome Total War 2, other than it's a much, much, much newer game, is the fact there is a lot of factions in this game, in Rome Total War 2. Like, they, they went faction happy. If you can smell different factions something you play right. with different, That's slightly variations of units. Phalanxmen. Ooh, okay. I don't believe I can hold the walls. Yeah, that's a lot of Felix men. It's like there's really just two entry points, so I could pull back and just hold the two entry points. That's probably what I'm going to do. I just don't think holding the walls is going to be very advantageous for us. Alright, so you... So whatever unit comes in, they're going to be fighting two. You, same thing. I'll keep one. One pike levy in reserve. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. General, my old trusted governor, grayed and silver-haired through many sieges, you will hold this city. Fortunately, you've just been able to mo muster the local levies. Fortunately. The force is coming, but it's a little ways off. Towers will do a lot. As you can see, they will have to storm the walls. The levies have reached the Which wall, I could but the enemy have to it, still get inside the settlement. Crushed. If, if I was Romans, I would fight for the walls. The enemy are at the walls with the towers. But considering now what I have, the swords and brave no. hearts can hold this place. These sound like machine guns. So just listen. The walls are no longer ours. Sound like the enemy guns. have taken them. Yes, you've seized the gatehouse. Congratulations. And that tower. Hopefully. They're stupid and they go around that way. Are they? Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Some of them are. That tower is going. They're going that way too. That tower will fire at them. This tower. If they go this way, this tower will fire at them. How much damage have we done to them? We've done about 200. We'll definitely. Why, why are you going? That goes nowhere. Well, actually, that doesn't go nowhere. That goes that way. You're not going to throw your javelins against uh, Angle yourself just a, a little. Oh, no, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. We're going to move like so. Go, go, go! Alright, let's just triple speed this, because I'm just trying to kill as many of them as I can. This completed there we commander. go, that's what I want. So I want them to come in, and I can either hit them here, if they turn and face here, I can hit them from the side, the flank. Hello, Militia. You are shaken, and you break instantly. That's interesting. Not without reason. They, they can't get over that. They should be able to. Oh, they are. Looks like they should be able to go through there. Never did it not. They go through there. Hello, Phalanxmen. Let's see what you got. Cue the uh, Buddy Hill music. <laughs> The enemy general flees! Press forward so that the spirit of his army is broken too! 
it's, it's a poor mockery of what the actual music is, but it, you get the gist. Uh, now, we're gonna need a little help. Not against them. You think digging me out of this Levy was gonna be easy, did you? Pike Levy. So if they attack on the front, they still are gonna get hit on the flank, which is then gonna cause them the morale break. And I have reinforcements, and my men won't break because they're in the circle. Now they may do something stupid like that. Go, go, go! I forget why. Pull we'll back. I forget why I did that. That's why. Little stupid shit like that. Well, they'll drop their pikes and try and fight the swords. So right. Start javelin them. them. That's who you need the peltas. General has broken and ran, so that helps. Get some damage in. Yeah, we're getting a few damage in. That's one thing good about pikes. They're terrible at blocking missiles. And they're exhausting. Fantastic. I think exhaustion actually gives a really bad morale penalty in this game. Instead of uh, affecting their overall fighting prowess, it just affects their morale. Because in uh, later games, they actually exhaustion actually hurts your the ability to fight. Kinda let you down. Yep, they just all broke. Help us! Help us! Help us! Hurry! The enemy general is running away! This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it is beyond belief! How do you like your Thracian? Raw, extra crispy, slightly burnt, uh, lots of spears, arrows, or with pike holes. Taking request. We have the javelin. There again. This might actually break us. This big blob of troops might be enough to break us if they can drop their pikes and actually pike us. Oh lord, here it comes. All right, you form up. Yeah, I do believe this pike mob is what's gonna. Be our end. Come over here. Yeah, there it is. They're about to break. You go here. You get over here in this corner. They're not getting through here. It's weaker forces. They're gonna break. They're gonna break our lines here. Good news is my men won't break. I got a reserve pike. Basically what I'm going to do is, is that whenever this pike fails, I'm going to charge my cavalry in and hit them in the flank and try and roll this big old blob, the big old pain train of pikes. Oh, but that broke. But they broke. Force yourself onto them. Let's see if we can cause a mass chain route. That would be in our favor, charge. Charge into them. How are we doing? They are breaking. Peltes is moving forward. They're all breaking. Charge into them. They've broken. Go after these guys. Excellent. One of you go after them. Go down that way. You stay as a reserve. Still got some militia strolling out. Have they seized the gate? No, they have not. So they're just getting shot to pieces. And... 
That is a lot of kills that this guy is about to rack up. Oof. Yeah, that's what happens when your morale breaks. Because of general fled and some other stupid things in this game, but that's the main reason. Alright, let's uh just, just march. March that way. You guys march that way. I don't know why your pathfinding is that buggy. Crush them. Crush them. So, uh, they do? All right, go go this way. What do we have? We have just a few militia hoplites that are really depleted. There's only one unit left. Should go ahead and break. Did they literally just sit there and allow themselves to get shot to pieces? Yes, yes, they did. That's good to know. You know the incompetence of my enemy. Keep moving. They've been crushed. Deal with them. Continue. Alright, it's over. The enemy that's uh that's a lot of kills I was not anticipating actually winning that uh, to be fair uh, I was actually anticipating suffering inflicting heavy losses but losing but they just drip feeded their units in if they would have pushed both sides uh, they could have actually done something possibly or if they had more than just pikes they could have done something they went. It was just all pikes. It's like all pikes all the time. Going down with the pikes. Oh. Two times with the pikes. Oh. Three times with the pikes. Oh. That's basically what it was. All the pikes in the world. Do, 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 do. Assassins can get rid of particular difficult rifles. The higher their subterfuge rating, the more likely they are to succeed. Good. It's really good. However, it doesn't really matter. I don't really need assassins anymore. Nope. I gotta be wary of assassins, but I, I don't need assassins. I'm gonna have to rely heavily upon mercenaries in the east to continue this rapid advance that I want to have. The core will be pikes, just like with Alexander. I had to rely on auxiliary, augmented auxiliaries to supplement my army. Um, that's how he continued his conquest, is that eventually he just had to rely heavily upon mercenary and auxiliary troops from his empire to keep it going. Actually, he got really good at controlling his auxiliaries. Very talented commander in that regard. Uh, what do we have? The way their life ends. Byzantia is saved. Sir, so we can move out. Sir, move get out. a little Fire. bit more of a force. Yes, Stratio. You're going to Tillis to ensure it doesn't fall. Repair that. You're fine. You're apparently in almost yes, open revolt. Stratico. My lord, onward. For some reason. My lord, yes, Stratigos. Uh, what else? My lord, yes, Stratigos. There we are. Leaving the army, sir. Orders. Everyone else, you're really not useful lord, to me. Yes, Stratigos. No. My lord, you're not useful either. Yes, Stratigos. Everyone else, you are. Right. Yes, you are. So, yes, Stratagos. Sardis, you too. My lord. My lord. Right, all right, let's push across Onward. the river. March. This settlement. Nothing can be attained. Destroy all right. them. We'll attack next turn. Pergamond. My lord. Orders. 
for the archers and the cavalry. Need you there. My lord, sir. Not the levies. You two. I'll wait a few more turns. You're rallying up troops. It's a very depleted force. Um, move, out. move on through. To go east. Go that way. So no bull we're gathering up troops. Probably gonna have to wait. Uh, maybe not. So my lord, or sir, my lord, my yes, my yes, 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 or there's sir, sir. Take these Forward. troops. Move into your lands. Oh yeah, that is way sir. lightly defended. So what we'll do. Uh, we can't do anything. Distance from capital is really kicking their butts. I'll put that in. Phalanxes and archers. Right, Sir, you. you see them. that. What can I get? Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. We should build the seat stat though. And then in, they should be on their final legs. Let's see if we can auto resolve this. Really? Really, it's that much in your favor. It's not, but all right. All right, all right um, yes, you're going that way. Destroy them. To seize that. That's held by Egypt, so you're gonna go that way. Destroy them. Deal with Pontus. My lord. All right. Um, yeah, we're gathering up spies. I think that's what we were doing, right? Yeah, that's what we're doing. What's this? Nothing of consequence. Alright, you. Need all of y'all to move that direction. Thank you. Can I augment it? Oh, I can. Salmation. Batanian mercenaries. Alright. Lord, Let's take us Palaporlasium. I think that's how you say that. Porlasium. Yes, Stratigos. Not too bad. Right. How many settlements are we getting to? If one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Hmm, 28 provinces. And then we're about to acquire 30. So we need 20 more provinces here. And then probably down here is where we'll achieve it, I would assume. And there's one, there's three more down here. So yeah, we'll, we'll eventually get there. All right. This is where we're going to fight. So let us fight it. And this will be the final thing of the episode. The seizure of Antioch. Our conquests are going well. Pretty rapidly. Probably by next week we'll have most of Armenia and probably most of Mesopotamia seized. And then we'll go for Egypt last. We'll secure our eastern flank before we secure our southern flank. Is the plan. Just in time for the new Total War Warhammer 2 to come out. Which I'm really looking forward to playing. begins we did not seek war but we are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field sure we'll go with that 
And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of better days. Those days will come! Sure. That's a good little pep talk. Alright, on a Jess. you're gonna go... Roughly here. <coughs> Siege equipment, fall back. Everyone else, you're fine. Smash that tower down. I wanna break these towers. Boom, 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 gateway. Oh, you actually fired both. Okay. Fair enough. 24%, 16%, 8%, 4%. Gateway destroyed. Which way will we actually get out of here? Yeah, destroy that tower. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right, and then come over here. Destroy that tower. And we'll probably punch a hole right through there. Ah, we're also setting a blaze to the buildings. We need to destroy that tower too. Get that tower, if you can. And then with what remains, we'll try and break through the wall. Right there, preferably. And we'll just completely circumvent the gate. Show no mercy! The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath their ruins. Where? Where are they down? I don't see where they're down. Alright, fire at that wall. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. The tower. Our troops should be ordered forward. Alright, so. Come here. Drop the ram. You're gonna drop the ram. Siege tower! Abandon the tower! Silician! Abandon the tower! Siege tower! Leave the siege tower! Mercenary Get on there. Cretian arches! Stand and fight! Arches of Cretan! Oh, Cretan arches, move up. Unit! Make haste! Siege tower! Rodian slingers, move up. You. Use the dam! Siege tower! To the wall! Siege tower! To the wall! Pikemen! Quickly! All of the pikes, move forward. Other peltas, move forward as well. You move forward. You stop firing. It's one guy. Stop firing. No need to You'll crush them. You might even be able to seize the gatehouse without using the ram. But we'll see. Ram. Go, go, go. Move up the, tower. the towers are at the walls. Reinforce the attackers fire. and crush the defenders. Men of Here's the goal. Run. They don't really have any other troops except for... Yeah, the bulk of their troops is just cavalry. Cavalry can be a problem, but I can negate that by putting some peltist on the walls and sending them scurrying back from where they came. Alright, let's get on the walls. Come on now. Come on, pikes. What, what are you doing? There we are. After them. We should hit them. Get up onto the walls. You. Get up onto the walls. You. Go kill that one Fang's pikeman. Who's really just on the way. You. Get up onto the walls as well. 
you. Quickly! You will not be needed. Because we're going to take it the old-fashioned way. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Archers, get up on them. Get up onto the walls. Move, move. Actually, if they're going to do that, do, don't do that. Don't do that. They come in, attack them. You get on, onto the walls. Yeah, you're just here. Arab cavalry, go make yourself useful. There we go. Throw some javelins down into their mixed. That'll cause them to hopefully break and run. That'll be the goal. Beltas, you can get up on to the walls and totally negate their cavalry advantage. Pike units. Normal pike force. Bell dusts. Arches of Crete. Pike Phalanx. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have waited. Javelins down. They're starting to get shot at. Pikes. Ah, you're starting to get broken. Thing that tries. Attack! Fire! Build this! Units! These two cavalry units are causing us a lot of problems. Men of Silesia! Why have they not broken? That unit's breaking now. Pikes in you caused way too much damage. We haven't even gotten to the chariots, scythe chariots, and all that stuff. <sighs> okay, just go into this. You get down. Arches of Greek, lingers of road, 
Taken this area. Men of Galicia. Arab cavalry. Arab cavalry, come down here. How much time we got? We got 19 minutes. Yeesh. Okay. Not a long time. Don't want to go that way. So we're gonna have this thing firing at us. We we're gonna be forced to funnel this way, but it's fine because we have this open area here. Okay. See if you can take this road juncture. Move down. Along with the pikes. Or Silesian pirates. Let's see if you can take that road junction. All archers and peltas and whatnot off the walls. It's very slow and deliberate, but now I gotta be quick. There's only 420 of them. Where's my leading pike phalanx? I need to take control of this section and layer my pikes and then force them on me. Supported, so don't do that. Move, move. Solutions are moving. Fighting, you move quickly. Move, Seize move. that road junction. You do as well. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. We kind of seize this road junction. Not Heavy really. cavalry. Tell me, got 15 minutes. Fighting. What's coming after me? Chariot archers. Go get them. Go get them, Arab cavalry. The good news is, these chariots are not nearly as good as their Sith counterparts. Scythian sound counterparts. Take all the missiles. Hell test. Why have we not dropped pikes yet? Oh, okay. We're still waiting on a few pikes. That's why. You move up. I need my archers up here. There we go. There comes our mono missiles. Destroy them! 
Well, they just slaughtered uh, my jabs. Don't know why my pikes haven't dropped. They're still disorganized blobs of soldiers. That's the problem. yourselves in. That's the only I can do right now is stop this bleeding of uh, troops. All archers, people Eric's, pull back. We need room. Deploy the pikes. Two in throwing, but our infantry is going to eventually tilt in our favor. We got ten minutes left. I think their best hope is to win on time. I don't think they the can. enemy king has been slaughtered. Let us Fantastic. Not poison the carrion birds. He's been killed. Ready. So all that broke. Units. Heavy cavalry. I'm up here. Every single pike unit. Get up here. Now. Peltest, form a little light skirmisher line. And archers do the same. Rush forward. You stay back. This is Donian Cavalry, you just. Rampage through real quick. You get in here. We're waiting on another Pontic Heavy Cav. Babysitting. They inflicted heavy casualties upon us. Get in position. Drop. Alright. So, move up. Let's pin them in. Eventually, they'll YOLO themselves into my lines, and you'll end up there. This is a <sighs> that was way too many casualties. But Antioch is ceased.
I think in roughly 10 turns, I've, or maybe 12, yeah, 10 turns, I've completely dismantled the entire Pontic Empire. Yeah, about 10 turns. That's impressive. Like once my invasion got going, it just could not be stopped. Quickly. Come on, load. There we go. Occupy. 17% of them. They really do not like me, do they? It's okay. Repair, repair. Go that. Do that. Do that. And do that. That'll help. Alright, so we've seized all of this. Sir. You're going that way. What can we get from here? Everything we ever wanted. So retrain. Retrain everything that we can. Eventually somewhere we get elephants. Or is that further east? I think that's further east. I think that's over here. No, 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 no. This right here, that allows you to get elephants. Mercenary recruitment of elephant units. Probably just none are available right now. That's probably the reason. Alright, um, let's intern and see what happens. And then we'll call the episode there. Hello, Egypt. What is it that you wash? You're... That's a lot of diplomats. Hello, Pontus. You caused me some problems. I'd pull him back. Our ships are under attack! Clear defeat. Withdraw! Withdraw! Interesting. I need to cut my nails. Not running out of things to talk about, I just have ADHD, so certain things just pop into my head, and I just realized I need to cut my ring finger on my right hand. Nails getting a little long. Come on, go. Oh, what are you doing? Ah, there we go. Just being a little slow for some reason. Oh. I like how the, the slow animation is like a walk. And the fast one is kind of like normal speed in other games. And the fast speed is like just slow little crawl. They did up the movement speed. Of characters, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know why they have it that low. I guess it just allows you to my act Lord. a little better. Prepare for battle. Begin yeah, the guess. siege. Um, well, uh, yeah. Settlement on the siege, sir. Yes, Stratigos, onward. You. Twenty Onward. north. March. You'll smash through them. Attack. Assist with the northern campaign. I don't need you. Yes, hmm. Open field battle or siege? Attack. Battle. What does he have coming? Faction leader, general. Who's this? Just a general. Remnants of the force that got thrashed. Uh, we'll, we'll fight that. It's not this episode. My lord. Y'all, um. Prepare for battle. First of all, Victory! you bugger off. March. Let's go for that last them. settlement. My lord. You, you do have an armchair. Destroy them. 
Begin the siege. What do they have defending? Can I risk it? Average defeat. Sound the retreat! Break off the siege! That was uh, My lord. unfortunate. My lord! We'll gather up the troops to take it back. It's just a momentary loss. It's okay. Right. Sir, my lord. You two levies. March. Move north here. Get All of y'all need to move north. Move out. And with these troops will eventually take that. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. You. Yes, Stratigos. Nah, you won't be needed. You go this way. Alright, here we're fine. We have a lot of garrison. Even if they do revolt, it's not going to do any good. Alright, uh, spies. Yes, master. Moving. Move this way. Let me know what's going on. Move, sire. You're fine. You're fine. Alright, so this has been way here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will finish off Pontus at the beginning of next episode with the siege of Haracha, or Atreya, and Mazaka. Uh, should be able to season all the resolve next turn. And then we'll focus on this area right here. Uh, Armenia is what we'll go after. It's the next big baddie. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's owned by Egypt. So seven settlements. And then once it is seized, then we'll look at Egypt. It's probably. Can I be of oh, I have a merchant down here. Let's see what's actually they? going on down here. I will speak with um, them. Afterwards. Egypt is holding. It looks like they're fighting against the Midians. All right. So, well, further ado, this has been Warrior here. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, take a look out for the video, the announcement. Go there, drop what you would like to play, see me play as, etc. Uh, let me know your thoughts and suggestions. And yes, there is one, two, three, four, five, six regions left in that area. So we should be able to quickly deal with Armenia. So without further ado, this has been Moya here. Till next time, have a good day.